What's up, people? This is William Jones doing videos about leaving religion. The purpose of the videos are to make you think, start to turn your minds on, and start to use common sense and logic and realize that religion is not real. It's just fairy tales, mythology, but not real. So for this video, I would like to talk about I don't know if I have a, a, a topic. Uh, let me see if I can say this. It'll be labeled on the video. Let's just say. Okay? Listen. Y'all on facial, uh, social media. Somebody will be on Facebook and say, their loved one is in the hospital. Pray for them. I need my prayer warriors, I need the prayer, whatever. Pray for them, pray for them, whatever. We don't know what's going on, because you don't even see what's going on. <clears throat> you just say you just need somebody to pray for them, so you're praying. All right. And the, the comments, I'm praying for you, I got you in prayer. All the, all the useless, normal stuff they say. I'm praying, I'm praying. But, but when it's a situation that we know in the natural world, this is where it goes, there's no need to pray. So, all the praying happens, everybody praying, and they saying, they saying silly stuff like, my God is a healing God. Right, because that sounds good if the person pulls through and then they can come back and say, I told him my God was a healing God. But the chances are, the person doesn't pull through. It was a uh, cancer. They've been on chemo for a while. Or congestive heart failure, heart attack, stroke. We don't know. I'm just saying certain things happen. And people die. That's the natural order of life that we are used to. Sometimes people die. Right? So it turns from the praying for the for the loved one, pray for the loved one to oh, we lost them. God called them home. We praying for the family. We praying for the family. All right, I'm just saying. So nothing happened. Look, your prayers didn't work. Nobody acknowledges the fact that your prayers didn't work. Your prayers, all y'all people praying, failed. Your God didn't hear it. Your healing God didn't hear it and didn't heal. And the person died in a natural order. But they can't see that. They can't see that when natural things happen in a natural order, that's how it's going to happen. You can pray all you want. They go out in a natural order, right? So now we praying for the family. I want you praying for Because every family go through the same thing when they lose, lose a loved one. Time heals the wounds. Bottom line, you don't need prayer for time to heal the wounds. Time will heal the wounds. Now, let's let's bring it all back. When they tell the story, my loved one, such and such, you know, they said it was stage one this, or stage two that, or they had a stroke, or they had a heart attack, or you know, it was in a car accident or or whatever it was. When they tell that story, they will not tell that story saying, and we all prayed for them and they died anyway. That's always left out of the retelling of the story. They, they never say that, well, this happened and we told everybody and we were all praying that God would heal them and bring them back, but they died anyway. You never hear that in the retelling of the story. It turns into 
uh, God called him whole. See, if I got to always protect my protector, then my protector is not my protector. If I got to always defend my defender, then my defender is no good. I got to say everything while my defender is invisible behind the curtains, Wizard of Oz says nothing type person. Right, so he's a good God. Won't he do it? Plenty of times, no, he doesn't. More, more than anything, no, he won't do it. When children are kidnapped and, and begging God for somebody to find them, no, he didn't do it. When somebody's getting raped, no, he didn't do it. People sold into sexual uh, slavery, no, he didn't do it. When people are about to get killed and they beg for their life, no, he didn't do it. So all this, won't he do it? No, he won't do it. Why he won't do it? Because he doesn't exist. He doesn't exist. So no, he won't do it because he does not exist to do it. We wouldn't be where we were if he was real and could do it. Why does evil run rampant? Because God ain't real and he can't do it. And I mean, those of us that are really watching my videos, y'all already know that. Some people on the outside are like, oh, I pray God, pray for him, or they're going to cut the video off, whatever. But he doesn't do it. When you begging for your life when that killer is there, He's not going to do it. You need your lights. You, your lights about to get cut off. Pray to God to keep your lights on. But don't have the money. He won't do it. Your gas about to get cut off. But you don't have no money. You got plenty of this. He won't do it. Understand this. If you don't have natural things. Nothing will happen. You don't need God to do natural things. If that was the case, you wouldn't need a job. Why do you need a job to make money, to get the money to pay the bills so that your lights won't get cut off, your gas won't get cut off, you won't lose, you won't lose your car, you won't lose your car insurance. You can pay your health insurance. Think about it. You need natural, you need the job to do natural things. You don't need a God for that. There's nothing you need a God for. And if things happen, come on. All right, look, look at him. You eat McDonald's all the time, Burger King all the time, pizza all the time, right? You eat all this stuff and then, and then something happened and you got issues with your heart. Can you really blame God? No. You eat bacon sandwiches every day, can you blame God? No. You smoking every day, drinking every day, can you blame God? No. And some things are just uh not uh what do I want to say uh uh, what's the word I want to say? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to edit this out. You know, it's it's uh, hereditary. Right? Some things are hereditary. You know, somebody had cancer, you get cancer. Somebody had this, you get that. I'm going to say it's hereditary. You know, because if, if you got a family, your family is short, y'all short. You got a family, your family is tall, y'all tall. You got a family, most of y'all are slim, you slim. You got a family, most of y'all are heavy set, you heavy set. If y'all light skin, you light skin. They dark skin, you dark skin. You got curly hair, you got curly hair. Things you can't change. You can't pray these things away. These things just happen. But what I'm saying is, let me get back to what I was talking about, right? Because I get to talking. Is when people tell the story about when their loved one, whatever happened, they leave out the part where everybody prayed. And the person died anyway. He was still at the funeral. Come on, let, let, let's keep it real. 
If somebody got cancer and they're dying, they're dying. <clears throat> I mean, I, I, what can I say, man? I'm just saying. Let's look at the natural world. If you take in more calories than you burn, you get overweight. If your family has a history of diabetes, you got to watch that. It's natural, not supernatural. Supernatural is just trying to take things somewhere where you don't have to explain it. You, if I can't see it, it doesn't exist. Don't give me super, it's supernatural. You got to be spiritual. If I can't see it, it doesn't exist. Nobody's going to honor that because they can't see it either. Can the insurance company see it? No. Then it doesn't exist. They don't cover supernatural. They cover natural. I'm just saying all of this. I'm saying all that to say this. Let's keep it simple, okay? Natural things happen to natural people. And if, and if you would do this, think about when people die, how do they die? Very few die from natural causes. Just think about that. How did he die? I'm going to leave this video right here. I'm out. Y'all take care. Peace.